Professional snow contractors know a multi-position V-plow with its ability to change from V to straight to scoop outperforms a straight blade hands down. That's because a V-plow can move up to 30% more snow and adapt to any situation at the touch of a button. But before you decide which V-plow is right for you, it's important for you to compare. So we're here to compare two leading standard issue V-plows, the Fisher Xtreme V and the Boss Power V XT. While both offer V-plow versatility, they are not the same. Let's take a look feature by feature, starting with the blade. The Boss plow is taller at the edges, but it's the width of the plow that determines how much snow you carry. Every Fisher Extreme V is four inches wider than its comparable Boss model. And in a big parking lot, that extra four inches on every pass adds up. The Extreme V is available with a stainless steel mold board or powder-coated steel. Boss offers powder-coated steel or poly blades. Let's take a look at the back side. The Extreme V gets its torsional strength from four vertical ribs and eight X-bracing ribs, providing diagonal structural reinforcement with 12 ribs in all. Boss only has eight ribs, six vertical and two diagonal on the outer edges. But one of the most important differences you'll find between these two blades is when you strike that hidden obstacle, and it will happen. All Fisher V-plows feature trip edge protection. When you hit that obstacle, the edge is free to trip. So you get over bumps and obstacles, whether plowing in V, scoop, or straight blade configuration. One more thing on the trip feature, Boss uses extension springs, which stretch and require adjusting. Fisher uses compression springs, which never need adjusting and usually last the life of the plow. Now, take a look at Fisher's Instalock double acting cylinders. They offer two distinct benefits. One, they lock the blade in place when you're back dragging. And two, they allow you to lock both wings together so you can easily maneuver your plow as a straight blade. Oh, and Fisher gives you another feature that Boss doesn't. This cutting edge leveling adjustment helps you maintain an even wear pattern for clean scraping. Now let's talk about control features. The Fisher control uses eight buttons to operate the plow and the boss uses five buttons. That's because Fisher offers important control features not found on the boss. The Extreme V provides one button for scoop and one button for V. Simple, the Boss V plow requires you to push two separate wing buttons to go between scoop or V. With the Fisher V plow, you can operate each wing independently, or you can lock them together for straight blade operation. To angle left or right in straight blade mode, simply push left or right. Logical. You can't do that with Boss. Angling left or right on the Boss V plow again requires pushing two separate wing buttons. So, as you can see, there are more time-saving features with Fisher. And speaking of saving time, let's compare the speed of the hydraulics between the two plows. We'll time each plow running through the full cycle of positions and see which one gets done faster. Straight, raise, left, right, V, scoop, and lower. Fisher ran the circuit nearly 20% faster than Boss. All these little things add up when you're out on the job. Oh, one more thing on the hydraulics. Fisher builds their own custom hydraulic systems engineered for their plows, and each and every unit is performance tested on the plow before it leaves the factory. Another big difference between Fisher and Boss is in the lift system. Boss uses a hydraulic lift, so the heights you can raise the plow for stacking is limited by the length of the hydraulic ram. Fisher uses a chain lift system, which is not limited by the lift cylinder stroke, so you can stack higher. How much higher? That's a big difference. It's a lot easier to stack it high when you have no restrictions. And because the chain lift system allows the plow to float up or down, it also hugs undulations and contours for a clean scrape. Another bonus with the chain lift system is that in the unlikely event of a malfunction, you can push the plow up into a snowbank and short chain it, so you can drive it back to the shop. When it comes to hooking up the plow, let's compare the drive and alignment. Fisher has four and a half inch wide receiver brackets that are flared both vertically and horizontally to help guide your truck into place. Boss receiver brackets are only two and a half inches wide. 
To complete the hookup, Boss has an electrical attaching system that uses electrical and hydraulic components to pull the plow into the truck. Fisher features the Minute Mount 2, a simple 100% mechanical design. You simply lift the handle, push the headgear, and raise the jack. It's a straightforward, common sense design with no electrical or hydraulic components to fail. And when you're not using your plow, what about theft protection? Theft is a growing problem in the snowplow industry. The Fisher Extreme V comes standard with an exclusive security guard anti-theft system. Simply enter your own personal code using the control and you can disable the electrical control system and render the plow inoperable to prevent theft or unauthorized use. Boss offers no such protection. Security Guard is part of Fisher's Fleet Flex electrical system that provides true fleet interchangeability, plus additional programmable features like soft stop and one touch float. So when you look at the whole package feature by feature, wider blades, structural support, trip edge protection, compression springs versus extension springs, standard double acting cylinders for better back dragging and straight blade operation, faster hydraulics, chain lift system for higher stacking, proven Minute Mount 2 mounting system, and exclusive security guard theft protection? Which plow do you think provides the better choice?